Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today, I have been looking through my videos of old as well as a slew of tag videos that people have done recently regarding handbags, trying to think of a topic for my next video. And it just dawned on me what I should do. I was looking at people's videos on their top five most viewed handbags. And honestly, I just can't do that one because when I look at my most viewed videos, the top ones have nothing to do with one bag. They're like multiple bag videos and it's too complicated to try to figure out which ones are the most favorite ones whenever three videos are about like comparisons or collections and then there's one about an unboxing. Actually, the unboxings don't do as well over the long haul as some of these other types of videos. And so the wheels on my brain were turning as I looked at my most viewed videos and pretty resoundingly, the most viewed videos have to do with Mark Jacobs, Coach, and Longchamp, and Tory Burch. So all of the contemporary brands. So I thought I could do a video about contemporary brands. And then I thought a little bit more, and there's all these top five, top 10, this and that. And so I thought what I would do would be the top five most used contemporary handbags in my collection. And that was something I could wrap my mind around because I can look throughout the handbags I have in my collection. Currently, I have about two dozen contemporary handbags in my handbag collection. And so I narrowed it down to the top five most used. Now, this doesn't mean that these are my favorites. They're not. They're the ones I reach for when I have certain needs. And I think you'll find a pretty resounding theme within this particular grouping as to what I need a bag to do and why I pick a bag. So the first one I'm going to show you, and these are in no particular order, is the pool colored camera bag by Coach. Now, this isn't the soft pebble camera bag style. This is the one that came after it. And it's not as soft. It's nice though, and actually the strap that it came with for a leather strap is really thick, and I like the strap. The buckle hits in a really nice spot, and it's grommeted, which I love a good grommeted strap, a whole whale of a lot. And this bag holds everything I need. It has a very generous compartment. It has a long zipper pull, which I love, and you'll see that on some of the other bags, or at least one of the other bags that I'm going to show you. The interior lining is really nice. It's kind of almost like microfiber. I think it is, but it feels a little bit sturdier than microfiber, if that makes any sense. <laughs> you can see I still have some I don't know what that is, like a little bit of padding there, but I have used this bag and it's got a nice pocket there. So this camera bag, it's one that I reach for because it is the color of my boy's sports team and because it is a camera bag. I find camera bags like super easy to use and to wear and I just like how they hug up against my body. They're not too wide at the base. They don't bump out and hit things when I'm walking through groups of people. They're just really convenient. And I like that I can leave them laying in my lap and wear the bag crossbody. And then when I stand up to go grab something, I'm not dumping my bag on the ground. If it were a shoulder bag, it would be harder to do that, obviously, because I'm not going to just sit there when I'm sitting in the stands with a shoulder bag on my shoulder. But I can certainly do that with this bag. And when it's laying on my lap, it's not in the way of me doing what I need to do. Whether it be filming or eating or just being a spectator. So the second bag I'm going to show you does not fit the same theme as the first bag, and that would be the Tory Burch Kira bag in the black ruched leather, the lambskin. Now this bag is extremely beautiful, extremely well done. It has a shoulder or crossbody, so I can wear this crossbody, and the break on the leather bit is longer, so it's pretty comfortable when you wear it crossbody, and you can adjust where that hits you by just maneuvering the chain a little bit. I love this bag because 
Whenever you open it up, it has organization, but it's one big open compartment and it holds its own structure pretty darn well. I mean, it is squishy, but it doesn't cave in like the other Chevron style Kira's do. And I also just don't feel like it's quite as fragile, even though it's lambskin, the fact that it's black makes it so where I could touch it up if I did ding a corner or something. But this is a bag that I would reach for if I wanted to dress up just a little bit. It can go either way because the silver hardware, I think, dresses it down a bit. But if I want to dress up just a little bit, but not be like flashing money outwardly by wearing a fancy pants designer bag, this is a great bag to choose for those type situations. And so for that reason, Reason, it is one of my top five most used contemporary bags. The bag being black makes it awfully neutral as well. So I basically showed you two categories of reasons why I would pick a bag. One is sports and two is dress up. And I have to tell you that the rest of these all fall within one of those two categories. Can you guess which one? I'll just bring the next bag out and I'll show you. So if you guess sports, you would be right. This is the Longchamp Extra Small and it is the Extra Small Le Pliage top handle tote in the Matisse leather. They've updated these now and they're now made out of a cowhide leather. Matisse leather is a blend of lamb and goat and I don't think it's a solid hide for that reason. The newer model I've heard also has an adjustable strap. The older one doesn't. The newer model I think is more expensive. It's over $400. This one retailed for $380. And I think you can pick it up for a deal at places like Nordstrom Rack now since the Matisse leather version of this has been discontinued. But I do pick this bag because it's lightweight. It holds a lot, even though the bag is only 6.75 inches across at the bottom, the depth makes it hold a slew of items. And this strap length is actually quite perfect for me. It hugs me right here. And just like the camera bag, because of where it hugs me, it stays out of the way. It doesn't lay flat on my lap very well, but it does just sit up against my body when I'm in a seated position. And for that reason, it is the perfect bag for sports. Now the opening on this is fussier than a camera bag because you gotta unsnap and then you also gotta unzip. And as you can see, I do have an organizer inside. I do think that the Matisse leather versions of these bags do need an organizer. I recommend Zumani and I always link their discount code as well as their website down in my description box. But this is just a great little bag for casual sporting type events. You can dress it up with a chain, but for me, this one in particular is casual all the way. I do have other styles of this that could be dressed up just a bit easier. You saw one recently in the handbag superlatives tag video I did. I can link that video down below, and that would have been the black lambskin quilted version of this bag. But when it comes to which one I wear the most, it's the red one. And crazily enough, I like this one the least out of the four that I have. It's really just a color thing, you know? Okay, next, you've seen this bag a lot lately, and I guess I just have to bring it out again because it fits this particular video to a T, and that is the most used contemporary handbags in my collection, and that list would be remiss if it did not include the Coach Soft Pebble camera bag with the guitar strap with the red piping on it or the red stripes. This bag, like I mentioned before, is great because a lot of my sports t-shirts have black lettering and the team's colors are red and blue. So I can wear this and it coordinates with all of those t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies and all of the stuff really well if it has any black lettering on it. And because it's black, I don't have to worry about color transfer or, you know, getting anything on the strap. It's dark, so it's not going to stain. Although I did still spray it with Colonel Carbon Pro. But this bag is just great, just like the blue one, but even better because of the way it feels. This bag feels amazing. And I did make a like to know it list. It's a 
It's a link that's commissionable. So if you use my link, I do get paid a commission, but it doesn't cost you any extra. But I figured out how to make like to know it lists. And so I created one of soft pebble camera bags that I found from what appear to be reputable sellers on eBay and Poshmark. I went back and looked at their reviews and I looked at their stars and, and I looked over the item and the ones that I put on that like to know it list look like they're all in excellent or new condition and the sellers also look like they are excellent sellers as well so if you get a chance to go check that list out do it because you can't buy these bags anymore on the coach website but you can pick them up pre-loved for a pretty good price they retailed for 250 to 295 depending on the strap configuration that you got and all of the ones that I have listed, I believe, are below that cost. Last but not least is the beautiful Cassie 19 by Coach. Coach is killing it. They took three out of the five spots. I guess you would expect that because out of my two dozen contemporary handbags, 14 of them are Coach. And so they do have better odds that they're going to dominate the top five but the cassie 19 is a great bag i love that it comes with a chain a top handle which i don't have on it and a leather strap which i don't have on it i just think it's great the versatility that this bag offers and the reason why this one in particular is one of the most grabbed bags in my contemporary collection is the color sport red is a fabulous match to my boys sports team colors and by now you know that that is the category that dominates my decision making at least this time of year and pretty much all the times of the year there's only maybe a month that i'm not thinking about showing my team spirit with my handbag choices but anyway, this Cassie 19 is also a great little crossbody. I have her accessorized with a see-through purses, web strap. I do like a narrower strap with the Cassie 19, and this one's really comfortable. This one and my faded blue Cassie 19 are the two of the four that I don't have a thicker leather strap for. And so because of that, I have found some nice webbed straps from see-through purses and other places to put on these bags to make them extremely comfortable when I go to those sporting events or to those things where I want to make sure that I don't have a strap digging into me. And the straps that come with the Cassie 19s don't particularly dig, but when it's over a long time period, having a strap like this can be essential. So I love this one because it reminds me of Gucci without being Gucci and it doesn't clash with the C either because there's no GGs. And I just think it's a fun little way to wear this beauty. So that's it. That is my top five most worn contemporary bags. So I would challenge anybody out there who is a contemporary bag lover or a luxury bag lover to think about what your top five most worn bags are in those categories. I'm going to do another one of these, but do it for luxury. It would be too hard for me to mix that up into one, but you are certainly welcome to if that floats your boat or strikes your fancy. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.